Hello everyone, welcome to a in the world of God. Um, the platform where we talk about the word of God, <clears throat> we discuss things related to the word of God in the Bible. And every word shared on this platform is based on the fact and the words of God that is in the Holy Scripture, which is the Holy Bible. I am here this evening. Uh, <laughs> I couldn't do it. The the screen, uh, the the recording. Uh, normally, I would have, you know, it wasn't planned, but I I decide to quickly do this recording for some uh, for a particular reason, and that reason. Is because as Christian we shouldn't be judgmental we shouldn't be judgmental towards other fellow Christians that does not have the grace that we have or that has the grace that we do not have Almighty God does not look at the appearance alone. It deals with our heart. If our appearance is more godly, but our heart is ungodly and filthy before God, then all of our, our, our godly appearance before Him is completely zero. And I want us to, uh, I, I also made this video, I also made this video to let us understand one thing. I will quickly, because I saw something on Facebook tonight and I was like, I'm a Christian. The person that first started is a Christian as well. But I found that few things need to be put right and be corrected. And um, being a woman, I know that as a woman, women will always be women. And I want to quickly show us this. I don't know if this picture is clear. I want to show us this. This lady dressed here. in a cultural attire. Okay? She was dressed in a cultural attire. And the part that she dressed in her cultural attire does not make her an unbeliever. I want us to know this. And the lady that I've just shown us, the fact that she has her makeup done does not make her unbeliever. If we go into our Bible, as a Christian, if we read our Bible, what we say in the Bible, the guideline as per our appearance before God. It gave a guideline as per the way we should appear. And our appearance before him, according to the word of God, must be in this sense. That is what it said. And there is also guideline that said the way we shouldn't dress. I have said it in my previous video. I think I said it in my previous video. I mentioned it that God is not against passion whatsoever. 
But when we when we dress, when we dress according to fashion nowadays, the, 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 our time now is different from the time of our mothers, our fathers, our, our grandparents, and our great grandparents. And even as at that time, there was fashion. Modernization or no modernization. And I could remember as of then that we have in terms of hairstyle in Africa, Nigeria, people do different hairstyle. Shuku, they call it Shuku, Didi Olowo, and all those things. And we have also, I will also quickly show us this uh, video. This hairstyle, this African hairstyle has been on for ages. And many more. We also have, this is Iwo Tread hairstyle. And we have also And we see, we have, I mean, different lovely African hairstyle. This image is extracted uh, from, from Google. And uh, yeah, different hairstyles, African hairstyles, the traditional one. I mean, cornrow, twist. You know, different kind of hairstyle, braiding, people do twist, uh, corn roll, and all those things. And, uh, and that is sample of shuku there. And, uh, yeah, it, it's, 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 I mean, it's what we women, it's what we do that makes us feel good. It's not that, uh, it's not that we're doing this for any other reason. It's what we love doing. It is what makes us feel good. That is, um, those are the African air star I mentioned earlier. So the same way we have different ones for Western women, we have for African also. You can see Conroe, the African style there. And fixing, that's fixing. So yeah. People do twisting like the this is African Esna also with uh braiding long braiding at, at at the hand. So people do twisting, they do twisted air style, they do cornrow, they do braiding, the they do crochet. It's for children, for adults, and I mean it's it's ladies' things. It's women thing that we do and that makes us feel good, that makes us feel like a woman, that makes us feel happy. And we have women also that carry low cut. It depends on what you you are comfortable in doing. So I mean it does not make us a sinner. Um I'm sorry if I sound like I'm being a kind of gender thing here, but the reason for the video has to do with the 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 the, the uh, uh, women gender thing that was mentioned and that prompted me to do this video. Likewise, also the same way we women have our own way of you know beautifying ourselves by paying paying attention to the hairstyle we do, our clothes, the world, our dressing, and every other thing. And my accessory. Likewise, also, I know that um, men also have their own, you know, way of looking good, being well groomed, and everything. In terms of their hair cut and everything, they, you know, they they love doing with their hair. So that does not make us a lesser. 
Christian or uh, mix her kind of um, sinner in any form whatsoever. This is why we, we do this. It makes us feel good. It makes us look beautiful. Women do it. To look good for their husband, their, their, their partner, and for ourselves, mainly ourselves. It, our, our confidence, it boosts our confidence, it helps us to feel good about ourselves also. So, yeah. It is not a sin at all to do our hair if it's the traditional way or if it if it is or if it is a traditional way or if it is fixing like the one here if it is fixing or name it if it is cornrow or if it is twisted air yeah, that you want to do like, oh i want i want you to do twisted uh braiding for me if the the hairdressers will do it for you if it, it's just that, oh, I want to fix weave on, they will fix it. And if you, if we are the type that, okay, I'll just cornrow my hair and I'll put on my wig, or I'll rather carry local and put on wig when, whenever um, um, I feel like, or whenever I want to, that gives us more option to, you know, to you know because even when you're talking about putting on wig there are loads of styles outside in the in the in the market now and also even coral a lots of coral style that comes with in the times of in the form of wig that people put on and you will never know that it is actually wig so that is women for you. That is us for you. It doesn't make us a sinner. It does not make us uh, unclean in any way. Or it doesn't make us a sinner. It does not make us unclean in any way or format whatsoever. Yeah, if we look at this, did you lower? I call it did you lower? That is it, and many, many more. We have Shuku, we have just Nemi. Different people, different culture with different air style. Right from the beginning, here is African air style. And as the as, as modernization comes also, more, more, more and more different air styles are coming up. Which is not something out of ordinary or abnormal yeah this is another air star here we can see that we have different sort of air style that is being done different culture different people and uh, here i just i googled this out because uh the video wasn't planned but yeah well we can see different air style and now there is also the same way we have all this air style. We have braiding. People do braiding. And the Bible told, spoke about braiding. The Bible mentioned something about braiding. But yeah, because of uh, uh, the new generation we are in, we see people do braiding. I, even myself, I do braiding when I feel like, oh, I need to do braiding. I do it. And is 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 to some is the is the favorite hairstyle that they love to do. Breathing is what people love to do. Some some people they don't they, they don't enjoy any doing any other hairstyle other than than doing breathing. Different people with your know, different ideology. Like myself, when I used to do breathing. I do, it's not a regular thing for me that I do, but I, 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 I do it occasionally. Maybe sometimes once in two, three, four, five, six months. 
I do breathing. Why I don't like doing it regularly is because of my hairline. When I do it, I don't want the, I don't want my hairline to you know come off with the extension by the time I, I want to take it off. But some people it's convenient, it's comfortable for them. And when we are talking about hairstyle, also here yeah, we see we see can we see this? In the Western world, the it's different hairstyle, different people, and we have some people that they, 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 I don't know if the video is really clear. Yeah, if we can see it clearly, so different people with different hairstyle, and um, and that is that that is it. That 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 is the world we are in, and when we are talking. Also, I've been trying to look for um, a kind of sample uh, uh, picture or images. I'll go on. Uh, I'll go on images here and see if I can get something out. Um, so, like I was saying, we have. Uh, we have different hairstyle well, and hairstyle images. So I just want to see if I can get some images out for yeah images. Yeah, I wanted to go on live chat, but um, I I uh, my account is not really um. It doesn't qualify for that, so I can go on live chat. But um, yeah, it's stuff for men, uh, for women. Mm. Mm. Okay, talking about um Western world, European country, when I was talking about hairstyle. Um, these are, these pictures are being taken. This picture, oh. These pictures are being extracted from, uh, um, um, Google images. We can see, even the Western world, uh, uh, Western country, European country, America mentioned it. There are lots of ear style for that, that, that different people that is, you see, that people find suitable and appealing and actually, and they go for it. They, they do it because it, they, it, they're happy doing what they, they, they love doing with their hair. And that does not make any one of us, anyone, a lesser Christian if we happen to be Christian or a lesser human or undecent in any way. New day, the modern day, as we can see, African hairstyle images. And if I scroll it up, we have cornrow, we have braiding. And crochet, we have different kinds of hairstyle. We can see we have, uh, we have, then I know that this is not Didier Lawa, but this, this particular one here, this one, this one, this, that style has been on for as long as I, rec I can remember. Then, Back then, it's been done as DJ Olowo and most ladies, it's very popular that people do it back then. And uh, yeah, here it's longer, we have long braiding. 
And we have, you know, ladies do it and I mean, it makes you feel good what you what you you've done with your hair. It makes you feel good, it makes you feel pretty, it makes you feel like a woman. It makes you feel like a woman. And when in times in times of um in terms of um of makeup and everything now I'll go to that in terms of um um african african and tattoo and and uh, back then in those days also I know that um <clears throat> Yeah, we can see, we can see the the lady that is putting her hand off. We can see the lady putting her hand off, and also here, yeah, the lady on the uh, with her hand on the pink, uh, pink uh, print, um, uh, no, purple print uh, cover. These, those are the tattoo that uh, our African ladies they do then. The the uh, the people, especially from um, the northern area of Nigeria, and and I know that some other countries do. Actually, if you know, make tattoo on their hand also, especially for wedding or for special occasion. In those days, before now. In times of our mothers, our fathers, our great grandparents, they have their own fashion. And they actually, what is in vogue as a then, what it's called fashion then, everybody enjoy it and they do it. And in our days now, we have our own thing that we call fashion. I want to plead to every one of us as Christian. Your appearance also is preaching the gospel of Christ. Your appearance also is preaching the gospel of Christ. Your appearance also is talking about your personality is saying this is a child of God. And what did the Bible taught us about appearance? We shouldn't be disrespectful to women, please. I'm begging us in the name of God. The Bible said that in everything we do, our appearance, in our dressing, we should do it with moderation and modesty. That is what the word of God said to us. Moderation and modesty. The Bible, I can remember, the Bible mentioned a so, few words about braiding. Which is in terms of appearance. Uh, 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 sorry, which is in terms of our uh, hairstyle that we do. The Bible mentions something about braiding. When I saw this thing on Facebook and I saw the picture, I don't know if I can get the I don't know if I can get the clip shot of it. Mm. 
So what am I saying? When I saw that uh, posting saying with a picture of some side of women dressed elegantly and some the dressing wasn't so I wouldn't I wouldn't uh, I mean they I, I would just say when I saw that posting about women some women showing some women and the way they dress that they'll be going they're going to Alpire because of their dressing I want to appeal to us all please in the name of God We need to read our Bible about dressing, how we should dress, what we should wear, what is it that is a, a, pleasing, a, a pleasing and a pleasing way to dress before God. We can't just put some things on, on the social media and humiliate women. We can't do that. We can't. Emulate others because we do not believe in what they wear or what they do. Because we do not believe in makeup. Because we do not believe in, the, in their Esther. As children of God, as servants of God, or as a follower, as a believer, what we, all we can do is to preach the word of God biblically according to the Bible and encourage people to live according to the word of God, according to his will and his commandment. No more, no less. Personally, myself, I do put on makeup and I do see myself putting on makeup, making me a lesser child of God. Or I don't see myself that uh, committing sin for putting on makeup. Putting on makeup does not make you a sinner. It is not the makeup, if you it is not when you put on the makeup or not, that will guarantee you going to hellfire or not. When you put on your clothing, when you dress, the word of God said we should do it in decency and in modesty. The word of God is not against us. Dressing of all, God is not against fashion. God is not against fashion whatsoever. The word of God is not against us looking good. And we shouldn't, we shouldn't because it's even against the word of God. It's against the Bible. When we, when we have this, uh, this ideology or mentality that you're better off than other Christian brothers or sisters. Or you are more holy than other Christian brothers and sisters. We shouldn't um, cultivate this earlier than thou attitude or behavior that um, I'm, I'm, I'm definitely going to heaven. All these people that are not like me, they are going to hell. We, uh, they are going to hell fire. We can all, all of, we can, we can't all be the same. According to the Bible, the apostles said the grace that you have, because of the grace you have, and the others do not have it, do not castigate or judge them, do not condemn them for it. Even if you see that your fellow brethren, when I, mean, when I say fellow brethren, I mean both sisters or brothers in Christ, both sisters or brothers in Christ. When you see fellow brethren doing something that you feel like, oh, this thing is not right as a child of God, you shouldn't do it. You encourage, counsel them with the love of God, with the love of Christ. Not castigate and judge and condemn. Castigating, judging, condemning others 
outright castigation, outright condemnation, or outright judgment of the others cannot save or win soul to God. If you want to win soul to Christ, do not castigate or judge anyone outrightly. You have to do it with the wisdom of God. And whatever you do, do not let sentiment overcloud or overshadow your whatever judgment you have. Like the picture I show in the beginning of this video, those dressing are the cultural way some people dress in their country. And we must respect that. I am a Nigerian. I, 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 I am a Nigerian. I come from Africa. I am black British, African origin, Nigerian. I will not, if I dress in my cultural attire, and because you're not Nigerian, you're not from my place, and you see me dressed in my cultural attire, and you condemn and castigate me, well, I'm not bothered. It's, that, is, that is my cultural attire. But one thing I know is that I will find, I will see it as unfair for you to judge me for putting on my cultural attire. As British, if a British man or a woman put on a British cultural attire, it's not fair to judge anyone for putting on their cultural attire. The Bible said, everything we do, we must do it in decency and in modesty. That is what the Word of God said. Decency and modesty. We do it with the fear of God in us. Even if some of the people in the picture, even if their dressing is not, is not, is not done in the rightful, proper way it should be done, it is their life. They have a right to live their life the way they want to. When our Lord Jesus Christ came into the world, he did not compel or force anybody. He only preached the gospel of salvation to us all. We hear, we we'll listen to him, and we accept him into our lives. It is not by oppression. You can't oppress other people because of what you believe in that the others do not believe in. Or because of what other people believe in that you do not believe in. I am not here to support any kind of dressing that does not give glory to God. I am not here to support any kind of dressing that encourage that encourages act of immorality in the society. I am not here to support any kind of dressing that would lead men to sin and as a result has broken many home. Because it is not all men that are well dis that are disciplined and uh, when you talk of self will and self control, it is not all men that are lucky to have strong self-will and self-control. We are all human. Some of us are, some of us cannot. You cannot judge anyone for it. And that's why the word of God said, before you judge others, judge yourself first before you judge others. All we can do is preach the word of truth to the people and pray that the, the people that were here and believe in his word and change from from the sinful way will do so with the help and by the grace of god condemnation castigation 
act of oppression through our words or the or posting cannot win soul. It is as simple as ABC. It cannot win soul whatsoever. When you want to talk about the word of God to others, you cannot put something that will, you know, that will that will kill. It's like I don't know how to explain it. That will kill the morality of that person completely. And you say you are trying to preach the word of God today. We, I want us to remember what our Lord Jesus Christ said to the people that came to listen to him when he was preaching the word of the salvation of our soul, the word of the kingdom of God to everyone that was there with him. Because this video wasn't planned, but I just, but I just have to come out and do this video and it will be on my uh uh on my sermon channel where i i uh, um, my my bible reading and teaching channel where i talk about the word of god and we uh, meditate in the word of god together for anyone that wants to see it and i'll put it on my abc uh talk channel also for people to see it, it will be on both of my channel a moment in elizabeth and a moment in the word of god and my ABC, Elizabeth, and ABC um, uh, uh, talk channel also. When we talk about the Word of God, we must talk about the Word of God with wisdom. We must pass on our message with the love of Christ. And the people that we're trying to reach out to, let them see the love of Christ that we are trying to extend to them. I know that there are some situations or occasions that warrant us to be, we have to really be frank, be blunt, and be completely honest. And it might, it might, yeah, it might, it might sound blunt sometimes, but we must be honest and be forward with it. But on normal circumstances where we preach the word of God, we are trying to tell the whole world that God loves you. Come to, come to Christ. Come for the salvation of your soul. Come to Christ. God loves you. That's what we're trying to do. Not the other way around. Not oppression through our posting you cannot oppress others especially you cannot pick on women and oppress women we need to respect women likewise we women need to respect men we need to respect one another and i i, I keep on saying I, if we read our bible very well there is no man, a uh, male or female in the presence of God. We are all one. But God knows what he's doing when he created heaven and earth and he created man, he created Adam. And he said, it's not good for a man to live alone, to be alone. I will create a companion. I will create, a, I will give him a helper, someone that will be beside him, that can support and help him. Women are helpers to men. God knows what he's doing when he created Adam and he gave him Eve to be helper to him, to be a companion. And that is the beginning of institution of marriage. And now, talking of fashion also. Fashion started from time of Adam and Eve when they discovered that they were naked. Who was and is the first fashion designer, God, when he covered their nakedness. And he is also the one that instituted marriage in the Garden of Eden. When they committed sin, through sin, death came into the world. 
And despite the sin they committed, it still has compassion on Adam and Eve when they discover that they were naked. God clothed them. He's the first fashion designer. And the Bible didn't tell us that it covered them with different, two different things. It covered them with the same thing. I am not saying that act of sin or any act against the Bible is allowed or, toler or, or tolerated. What I am saying here is that when we dress, when we put on our clothes, we do it according to the will and commandment of God. But as a woman, I am talking as a woman. Being feminine, we will dress in a feminine way. And God is not against it. All he wants us to do is to do it in decency. You can wear a cloth that we encourage act of adultery or fornication, that we encourage act of immorality whatsoever. And I won't go deep into that. Well, when we dress, we allow to, 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 to dress according to the, the, to the latest fashion, as long as we do it in modesty and in decency. And the same thing applies to our makeup. Fashion has been on right from the beginning. If we read our Bible, Old Testament, fashion has been on right from the beginning. But it was done in modesty. The people that did it out of modesty are being called to order immediately. It was done in modesty. And likewise, the way it has been right from the beginning, I was talking about Africa, Nigeria. We have Shuku, uh, uh, we have Shuku Olowo, we have, uh, uh, we have, um, we have uh, Shuku Didi, we have, we have braiding, we have all kinds of things. In the olden days, it used to be Shuku Olowo and uh, Didi Olowo. Is, um, is it Shuku Olowo? I don't even know, but I know that we used to, <laughs> there is Didi Olowo then. And many, many more other kind of hairstyle that our mothers, our great grandparents, they do the hairstyle then. That's all, that was the way it used to be then. And in, I know that northern area in terms of fashion, especially when there is ceremony, especially marriage, they put um, arrow, they use arrow. I don't, I don't know if that is the same thing as tattoo today. They tattoo their hand. With different kind of, you know, design, beautiful design. Even finger, I know that they used to put tattoo on the finger and it comes out. After the tattoo, the, the, the dark uh, color comes off. It comes out looking nice and light brown, very colorful and lovely. Today we have people, you know, uh, the, 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 the world has changed, things has you know, modernization has improved and changed so many things. The way fashion was then is not the way fashion is now. And when in terms of modernization, or like you will buy anything, Jay. Afita Afrawa Bagba Arawalaye. Lati Bank on Jeff Rawa. Modernization has not destroyed or ruined anything. Except we ourselves, we allow it ourselves. We follow bad example. When there are billions, thousands of good examples there, why should we follow bad example and blame modernization for it? There are lots of people there in this modern world and they have thousands of good examples to show for it. We must remember also, modernization brought education into, into many people's lives. We have professionals today all over the world in their respective field of profession. 
Without education, that cannot happen. Modernization has, has brought a lot of improvement to the society. Talking of technology, take, talking of health section here in UK, NHS. Uh, we, we have lots all over the world. Africa, mentioning Europe, all over the world. America, just mentioning. We need to see the positive things that modernization has brought into the world, into our midst, and fight against the negative ones. I will hang, I will, I will, I will, I will round up here, please. When we do our posting, we shouldn't disrespect women. I have different, uh, personally, I don't shy away from fashion. It does not, fashion does not affect your fashion, the sense of, your sense of fashion, your dressing has nothing to do with your age. It does not matter your age. You must keep yourself good, looking good, dress good, appear, appear good. It's, it's, I have said it before, it's even part of our service before God. I, as a person, I cannot go out dressed tattered because I call myself a Christian. I, uh, I, I, that's the righteous way. I'll go out dressed tattered with my hair looking rubbish. I cannot do it. We cannot do it. We are ambassador of Christ. I want us to know this. As his ambassador, you cannot go out looking tattered, looking unkept, with your hair undone, looking unkept or undone. It can't go out without... The, if we read the Bible about fasting, the Bible said when you fast, Put your pomade, your cream, cream your face. Do not let the world see you that you are fasting. You see, the word of God even supports. Take care of your skin. Good cream. Use good, nice cream. Please, when I say good, nice cream, I'm not talking of bleaching. Who that? Who say? Oh, I heard a sermon or the word of God from a particular lady. As a servant of God, <laughs> I don't believe you, I don't believe whatsoever. I call myself servant of God because I am one. If my father said, "You are my servant," I am his servant. Regardless of what anything, I am the servant of God, and I am his servant. If he call me, that you are my servant. It can be challenging, right? The, 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 the world can be challenging, can be stressful, can be, you know, name it. But we have to put in our best when we go out to appear in a way that God will be pleased with us. He will be happy when he look at us. When he look down on us, he will be happy that, wow, that's my child. He will be proud to say, that's my daughter, that's my son. You can't go out looking rubbish, looking tattered, looking smelly, just name it. I'm sorry if this sounds like I'm being insulted. I don't mean to insult anyone, but I'm just saying this. We can't go out looking like I see we don't have God in our lives that is watching over us, that is taking care of us. We can't do that. And that's why I said, cream your face, dress up, clean yourself, look good, appear good, even though you are fasting. Because your fasting should be a private thing between you and I, not for the world to know that you are fasting. And I, Almighty God, that is the word of God, he said that he, that is the is Almighty God, that sees in secret and hears everything we say to him in secret. We answer us openly.
And when in, in talking of fasting, when we say we are fasting, I believe in fasting. I do fast myself. Based on how much my health can, you can, can tolerate, I fast. I believe in fasting. I, I, I pray. As a child of God, I pray. I fast. Because that is part of the spiritual thing that we have to do as children of God, as children of the Spirit, because our Father is Spirit, and we have to serve Him in spirit and in truth. When we fast, when we say we are fasting, we need to remember something. We have to do it sensibly. When we say we fast, I'm talking about I'm talking about this based on the experience that I have heard and I know of some people. When we say we fast, fasting and we, we when we say we fast and we we refuse to eat, 